In this video, we're going to talk about how do you factor four-term polynomials. So every time I factor, I basically follow two steps. Step one is I'm always going to look for a GCF. If it's not, even if it's not there, I'm still going to look for it. And step two is to determine what size the polynomial is to decide what to do next. But like I said, this whole video will just be factoring four-term polynomials. So this first uh, factoring problem over here. I'm going to look for a greatest common factor. They have nothing all in common. So then I'll notice that what size is it? It's four terms. It's a four term polynomial. So when we do these, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and split it into two groups. Now I always recommend that you put this sign in the middle here because it'll remind you when you pull out the GCF from this group, this tells you what sign to pull out. So what I'm going to do is go to each group individually and pull out the GCF. You can see this first group has b squared as the GCF. So I'm going to pull that out, divide each term by b squared, and inside I'll have b minus 3 left. Over here between 4b and negative 12, they have a 4 in common, so I'll divide each term by 4, and again, I'm pulling out a positive 4. This sign always matches that sign. And what's left inside? b minus 3. Now I know I've done this right because these two parentheses match up, so that's the GCF of these two terms. So I'm going to factor that out. And what's left over is b squared plus 4, which is going to make up my other parentheses. And really, so I should check to see if I can factor these any further, and I can't. So let's move to this next one. I'm going to look for a GCF. They don't have a GCF here. And what size is it? It's a four-term polynomial, so I'm going to try grouping. Again, for the second one, always put that sign inside. So for the first group, I can see that it's got an x in common, so I'll pull that out. And I get a squared minus b squared. Now the second parenthesis, when I pull out the GCF, it's going to be negative because of this negative right here. And what do they have in common? Y. So I'm going to divide each term by negative y here. And that's going to actually flip all these signs. So this will become positive a squared. And this will become negative b squared. And since they have an a squared minus b squared in common, I'll factor that out. And what's left over for the other parentheses is x minus y. Now on this one here, you can see in this first parenthesis, that's a difference of squares. If you need help with that, check out the binomial factoring video. But this is going to factor into a plus b times a minus b. Oops. So this actually factored a little bit further here and the x minus y stays. Uh, okay. So let's try these last two. So the first thing I look for here is the GCF and here there actually is a GCF of x so I'll factor that out. So pull out the x and you'll get 4x squared divide each term by x plus 12x plus 2x plus 6. So now I'm just going to focus on the inside here. So I'm I noticed that it's four terms, so I'm going to try factoring by grouping. So I'm still going to make two groups. My original GCF is just going to hang out outside. I'm going to write it at the end again, but I'm going to deal with what's left inside. So pull each GCF out again. First parentheses 4x, divide by 4x, you get x plus 3. And here I'm pulling out again a positive, and the GCF here is 2, so divide each term by 2. And I'm left with x plus 3. And again, x plus 3, they match up, so pull that out. And what's left over? 4x plus 2. And I don't for, want to forget the GCF I pulled out initially. So now this is fully factored. These don't factor any further. So the last one here, GCF, there is none. It's four-term polynomial, so I'm going to try grouping. Again, put that sign inside there. So pull the GCF of each group out. So pull out an x from the first group. Sorry, an x squared, actually. And you're left with x plus 2. And the second group, I'm going to pull out a negative, and they have a 4 in common. So I'm pulling out a negative 4, so I'll divide by negative 4, which is actually going to change these signs. They have an x plus 2 in common, so factor that out. And what's left over is x squared minus 4. And again, when I see this x squared minus 4, I can see it's a difference of two squares, so I'll factor that again further into x plus 2 times x minus 2. And since I have 2x plus 2 is x plus 2 times x plus 2, I can just write that as x plus 2 squared times x minus 2. So there's a look at grouping.